Okay, say hi, Adela. Hi. What you got there? Something from South Australia. Something okay. From You've been craft, craft stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have one of Yeah, and we're in town. So, and I know my um, sound on my phone is very low, so I have to kind of speak into my phone. <laughs> so, but we're going to film a little bit here and there. So, stay tuned. Okay, we are inside um, um, a Norwegian store called Husfliden and they sell a lot of yarn and knitted stuff and you know things Norway is famous for like these glows here. This is a famous pattern. Um, and a lot of tourists like to go here to find, you know, it's nice souvenirs to have, you know. This is nice souvenirs. Mm -hmm. Look at these slippers here. It's very felt-fed. Uh, Norwegian knit designs. Ah, this is um, cheap. This is, oh my gosh, Rudolph, he's dead. <laughs> yes, it's reindeer. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. So, a typical cost that people you know, usually take on uh, trips to the woods. <laughs> trips to the woods. Oh my God! <laughs> what do you think of this? Symphony? Yeah, coffee cups or moonshine cups or whatever. Okay. <laughs> you know. And of course, Norwegian trolls. Uh, traditional paint. Cheese? This, what do you they call it? it? It's a cheese slicer. But you know, what do they call it? this is and this one here is especially for the brown cheese mm -hmm. because it acquires another kind of yeah. And you can work one with a reindeer or a moose on you can have that too. You got a timbo. You collect timbos? Yes. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, a timbo is nice. Yeah, I remember you were talking about it on Skype mm -hmm. the other day. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Do you have one for Sunday? I have no idea. Hmm. I don't usually buy timbos. <laughs> I have no idea. This one, I'm going to buy this one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, Magnus with Norwegian Viking troll. Viking troll? Viking troll? Huh? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> oh, this one's cool. Well, you see what it is? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, this? Aha! <laughs> this is old fashioned stuff. Um, this is like. Um, it's like a calendar they used in the Middle Ages in working time. It each sign means something, and these are days in the air, like this here, harvesting, you know. So really cool. Really what is this? What is this? <gasps> is it paper cutting? It's paper it's cutting. Like, no, I think it's, it's like three. Is it three? I think so. For plastic, or I don't know. I can see air and paper. Oh my God! It's hand hand cut. Oh my God! Wow! Wow! But this is so cool. But the mm -hmm. price is like thirty-two dollars, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the first. <laughs> yeah, but if it's hand cut with a scissor, I mean, it's artwork. Mm -hmm. It's not. Is it read on the back? Not yeah. Mm -hmm. Using only a pair of scissors. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. Yeah. 
very Norwegian style, old fashioned of course, well not old fashioned, traditional you would call it. This is a modern take on it. Yeah, so this is good. Let's go. Pass on. More shops. Thank you, son. I think. Ha ha. <laughs> Okay, if all the uh, foxes bought traditional and your ones, oh, wow. yeah, wow. Do you have one? Yes, I have a graffer. Um, I have this one. Yeah. This one. Uh, actually, it was my um, great grandmother and grandmother. No great-great-grandmother and great-grandmother, great, two greats and three greats, mm -hmm. gosh, they introduced this suit to Trondheim, and okay. they had the first ones in town, so when they came with these on the 17th of May, Norwegians, uh, Constitution mm -hmm. Day, everybody was looking at them. So, but the original, what we have, it doesn't have the belt, um, so, and my, mine, my grandmother had made me, and this is amazing, it's artwork, so, yeah, um, here's it, look, yeah, it's over there, look at it, look at the silverware for all day. And this is silver, and the price is USD, of course, are Norwegian, and it's like one six. It's one six of the dollar price. Oh, really? Yeah. You well, is the As you saw, we were inside a church, and it was this church here. And my uh, grandma and grandpa was married here, and uh, my grandma was Christian, also confirmated here. So I can't remember what year it is. I think it's I, I think the church is about 200, 250 years old. No, it's from 1739, so it's older. <laughs> yeah. Over 300 years old church. Okay, so 
and over there in the Viking Age it was like a little inlet like a little bay from the river that's over there that's where they had the Viking ships uh, and that's where the town started so this city is over a thousand years old so pretty old uh, yeah and here's my tourist I'm filming I'm standing okay I have to I have to pose Posting! Posting! <laughs> it's probably okay. I want to show you this because it's so pretty. So pretty. Look at this joy. Oh. Oh. So, Marlene. Look, 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 flowers. This is how our official planting look like in the town in Norway. So, everything. This is, they put down a cabbage. Look, that's actually, um, Claire, see? Yeah, this is a cabbage, yeah. Uh, decorated cabbage. Decorated cabbage. Mm-hmm. That's, oh, sorry. Okay, there's a king grain mustard. <laughs> this one here and that was there is also salvia. Oh, the one like they're oh, both salvia. they're yeah. both salvias, yes. Mm-hmm. Very they salvia have the most strongest blue color. They is oh my gosh, they're so crazy. And petunias, I think everybody knows petunias. It's starting to wear down a little bit, but you know it's Beginning of September, so here's the tourist <laughs> and some sunflowers, and we do have pigeons, you know, right here. And this is typical architecture for this place, for Norway, uh, wooden houses, pretty ones, yeah, uh, pretty, 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 pretty. There is a 1739. Hi. And we're going to walk off to the cathedral. So you can see that too. Okay, we're at the city square. And that dude on top there, that's a Viking, Olaf Tryggvason, and he's the one that founded the city. And he's one of the first kings, well, first king actually, I think, to start to gather Norway into one kingdom. So he managed to gather some because he was like hundreds of small kingdoms, you know, all the chiefs had his own kingdom, so... So this is the square here. There is like fairs and markets, and as you can see, there's no traffic here. Uh, they have closed it off permanently. Uh, a little bit of booths going on here. You can buy whatever. Yeah. Ooh, Adela, look. Oh my gosh. I got one of these from Finland. Oh, nice. Those are warm. Oh my gosh! A little bit expensive though. That's like fifty dollars. Very accurately fifty dollars. So, yeah. And as you can see, there's McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna walk a little bit out here so you can see where we're heading now. You see there. There, that's Europe's most modern cathedral. Where pilgrim used to go. What about she? What are you finding? Did you find something? No. No. Ah, okay. So. Uh, a little bit more. Pretty, pretty, pretty.
Okay, this is a jewelry shop and it's been here since I got 1770, yeah? It says 1770 there? Yeah, I can't even remember right. It's like a shabby chic dream of ours. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. And look at the... Somebody's working on it. Look at the sign. Is that? Silversmith. Actually, silver and gold. Yay! That's the old barracks, actually. Okay, uh, we're at the cathedral and, well, don't faint, but this is amazing. <laughs> it is. It's amazing. It's humongous. And, okay, let's see, let the cars, okay, we're letting them up on us. Um, this church is a mixture of Roman, it's a mixture of Roman and Gothic style. And it's very visible up front there, you see the rounded there, rounded arches, that's Roman style. And the pointed ones is Gothic style. And the side chapel over there, I was actually Christian there when I was a little tiny baby. And uh, the cathedral, it is, they started building it in the 11th century, or was it, well, 11 something. Yeah. And the churchyard is pretty, very beautiful. And in spring it's magic here because it will have all these gillas and crocus that are popping up in the lawn. It's gorgeous. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have to show my booty. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I was Christian. I can't film inside, it's not allowed to take photographs or film, so. But uh, I can pop a link to a Google search underneath the video so you can kind of see some more. And, oh, where's here? Hey, you! <laughs> uh, you see there gargoyles really cool gargoyles and there is hundreds of them on the church many 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 funny faces and evil faces and crazy faces and this one here you actually have a viking helmet on you see the gargoyles I love They're so funny, they're so cool. There's so many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's hundreds of them on the church. So, I've been on the top there. Pretty high. I'm not gonna go up again. <laughs> okay, we're up front. And I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave my bag with her and then I'm gonna go over there as far away from the church that I almost can get. The new facilities. That's actually the poorhouse where uh, women and kids were shoved away, I would say. Okay. Okay, guys, hold your breath. As you can see, I have no possibility of getting everything in shot here. So this is where the princess of Norway, not the crown princess, but the princess of Norway, got married. And I was one of the florists decorating the church and that was kind of 
that was amazing to be a part of to experience it's not all it's not very many florists in the world that have the chance to decorate to be part of the decorating for our royal wedding but I've been there done that so yeah there's that enough and that's the archbishop's castle and uh, yeah actually the church is closed whatever i don't know why it's amazing and that dude over there uh he collected norway into one kingdom and he christianed norway and he was just here. in my opinion he was a sadist he didn't do it very nicely but this we have other standards today compared to what they had in the Viking Age. So. Where are you going? <laughs> so, and he's actually canonized by uh, Rome. So, of all things. So. Yeah. See, I am kind of like bending my neck here. Okay, that's the main entrance. It, unfortunately, it's closed, but you know, I couldn't film there anyway. So, there is Adelaide. And...